let's do a quick game today. Basically, what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do is basically go through a game that's uh, kind of like middle of the road, but it does have a really interesting aspect when the with the night of. with the night movement over here so let's get into it really quick this is Italian game other variation but the standard Italian game and here it starts going into the variation like really strange variation right here there you go that's the really strange Italian game opening Anyway, let's continue. Pretty much just exchange everything right out of bed. It's open right now, right? So it's open over there. Take, 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 trade over here. And this is puzzle number one. Yes. <laughs> right, this is puzzle number one. Black has just moved the knight to A5. What should I do? Anyway, so as you can see, everything's open here. Uh, everything open here. So there's a lot of variation over here. But the important part over here is that the queen can move to this square and fuck the king and the knight over here. And the knight cannot go back to this square because there's a pawn attacking that square. So this is when the evaluation goes to seven. Boom, immediately from two to seven right there. So this is black splendor right here. Next move. Just pick up the knight, castle, castle, and that's a kind of like discovery attack there. Pull that one in here and this is actually puzzle number two, but I think I just moved the answer, you know, immediately over there. So, anyway, the consideration here is that I'm ahead one piece, and what I want to do is I want to exchange as many pieces as possible. So, as you can see, the bishop can only go into this direction over here. So. This is forcing the exchange over here. I'm hoping that black does not do anything as I can capture here and point capture and this will be open but so this pulling the puzzle over there. Anyway, take that, take that over here and go back. So just keeping the advantage over here and I apologize for spoiling that puzzle but this is actually my second take, my first take, the microphone was off, so no audio, so it's kind of rushed over here. Anyway, next move. Put over here, check that. Not gonna move, not gonna spoil the third puzzle here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, put this one. Now the queen by itself is totally useless cannot do anything so all it does is get the uh, harass get, get pushed back the queen get get pushed back the question is not whether or not the queen get pushed back the question is how the queen gets pushed get pushed back notice there's a uh, tension over there going on so yes take that take that again harassing the queen push back over there and I'm setting up <coughs> a discovery attack over here to the queen. Next move. And setting up that one. So the rook is at guarding this pawn. The idea is to push the pawn over here. All the way past this pawn over here. The question is, what should I do? This is puzzle number three. What should I do?
NetX pawn and pawn cannot tax knight because it is a discovery attack and rook will take the queen so it's very annoying for black to do for this to happen anyway that's what it is and let's move on over there trying to keep advantages over here now uh, in this case yes I can take the pawn over there because if queen takes queen not takes queen and we're even and there you go right there so I got this best pawn over here just keep pushing it forward and as long as I can cut this pawn and secure the next square with the knight over here the, the knight will secure these squares I will win it's gonna take a while to do so but I will win next move that's very strong position and that's securing the next square over there what I mean black cannot do anything that white pawns gonna march all the way to the promotion square and black resign anyway that's it for today thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow